Couldn't bring myself to do it. Franklin, man, I'm following the architect. All right, don't fuck it up. All right. Thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. Hey, hey. Building standards. Where's your hard hat? Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Hey, what's the house? the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it.
Frank. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. Hey, right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? So you do want to mop, okay? Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. After what I saw this guy do to two dozen bad cops and a half a ton of armor, I'd take him anywhere. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay.
Hey, Les, that getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. Pillbox Hill. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay? Hey, what? But... <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things, and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now, and I don't know what to do, except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just... Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore, and the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay, so... Lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean... Not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go, get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star, sort of. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. So, 
What's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, s stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows? They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah, okay. That'll work. There they are, outside. Fabian, too? Oh, what a treat. No caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy, please. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is true. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? Well, what are you uh, 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 I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted... I'm meaning to say to you. Look, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No, no yoga. Uh, uh, All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh God, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of, okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Here's the tattoo shop. Something 
hip that... You know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh, <laughs> whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh, uh, 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 You're not gonna get me a Prince Albert, are you? Ah, oh, you fucking prick! Jesus! Ah, fuck the paparazzi, you're gonna... Oh, are you popping a fucking tent over here, are you fucking psycho? Ah! Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks purdy. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah! Oh. My God, uh, Papa Bear, what's daddy number two gonna th think about this? Uh, uh, let's not get him involved. Uh, uh, let's do. If I knew I was getting this much work done, I, I would have brought a camera crew. Uh, you move and I will knock you in the next week. Uh, uh, no, please, not a fucking tramp stamp. How about I throw those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Ah, there we go. Oh, that's nice. You got, like, a camera phone or a mirror? Shit. Oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you upside the head with it. Fuck this, oh, no. oh. Ah. Ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. What are you doing? Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ever a family that needs therapy? My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who yeah. knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Hey, Ew! Me. Are you serious? No, Come on! No! Not quite. Yeah, man. I still got it. Well, you're getting drunk tonight, right? Ah, it's all look, but don't touch now and shit, but still... Hmm. I don't know what'll happen. I guess you'll have to wait and see. but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. <laughs> Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with the laptop? Oh, yeah, like, pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the beam machine bat him. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. 
Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody! <laughs> do it, Dad! Yeah! Do, do it! it! Do, do it. it! Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off! Yeah, don't, like, actually rob a liquor store. That might, like, kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Fighting. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm, it's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda, trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. But... Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so are you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! So, will you drive us home? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go, you know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. 
No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad, gross. You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, OK? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. Here we are, home sweet home. Remember this place? Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel.
what you say shut your mouth shut it shut just keep it shut oh, you know full well exactly what you didn't say it's no good well you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties and you will be miserable you could have had it all with me a beige condo matching woolen sweaters walks on the beach a little dog we lavish too much attention on because i'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant everything well fuck you and i don't care that we just met last week all right just stop looking at me don't look at me Say something! Oh, I wish you were dead, I really do. Oh, I love you. Oh, let me take you away from all of this. You mm. stupid psycho! He was gonna impregnate my ex by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met! I love you! You're thin, you're irrationally angry, nothing you say makes any sense, you are... Completely have no control of your emotions. We have nothing in common. Oh, baby, we're made for each other. Prove it on the bike now. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I got you. Mm, I got you. You are just perfect, crazy cakes. Marry me! Be done with this! Shut up! Don't talk to me! I defended your honor! I took out the alpha male! Evolution demands that we rut like beasts! Oh, God! Jerry, the misogynistic law of the jungle bullshit! Revenge sex! I am not having sex with you! Get that through your thick head! Okay, well jack me off into a cop! Slap me around! We got options, baby! You need help! We both do! It's a recipe for disaster! That's why it's so perfect! Volcano of issues inside you? I want to see it erupt. Oh yeah! Woo! I win! Come on! 
Come on, here. what? Sex reward! That's how this works. You're deluded! Spread your genome in a gym sock! Oh, fuck, I love you! Hold me! Sunday morning is my pole position time. Hey, man. Just stay away from me, okay? Please forgive me. Damn nut job. Calm down, sir. You can just give me a detailed description. <sighs> Thin, sallow, yeah. definitely an addict of some sort. He smells like he hasn't bathed in weeks. White, middle-aged. Sir, we're gonna need a little more to go on than that. He he's a white trash lunatic. I don't know what else to tell you. 
That describes half this town, Mr. Bernstein. Well, not the half that I live in, thank God. I'm president of a real estate company. You're set to receive a tidy insurance settlement on this property. Is that correct? What are you insinuating? Nothing, sir. Just trying to get all the facts straight. Oh, facts? You want facts? Look at my home! It's ruined! The home that's in foreclosure and you no longer live in. If there's anything else you can tell us, Mr. Bernstein. Look, you'll, you'll have to give me a few minutes. I'm too upset to think right now. Tony! Where's your wife? You owe me. Officers, here he is. This man is insane. He destroyed my house. Whoa, hey. No, wait a minute. You asked me. He's he's ruined my life. He's he's a, he's a stalker. He's he's an epsilonist. Yeah, get him. Freeze. Hands in the air. Take him down. Oh, I don't think so. Shit! Two-faced measly! Fuck! You can't hide from Trevor Phillips! I'll find you! Here he is right there. Tony! Where's your wife? You owe me. Officers, here he is. This man is insane. He destroyed my house. Whoa, hey. No, wait a minute. You asked me. He's he's ruined my life. He's he's a he's a stalker. He's he's an epsilonist. Yeah, get him. Freeze! Hands in the air. Get those hands up! Take him down! Hey! Dumb move, Josh. Stop your car! Stop back to drive a car, dispatch. You! Roger that. You try to do a nice thing for someone, take some time out of your day to pleasure a man's wife, burn down a house, I don't know, something.
My man was staring at this blonde, so I dyed my hair blonde. God, whatever. Somebody come here! Dickly, okay? 